Memories, something every family cherishes. For Wade and Bonnie Bingley and their son Dylan, quiet moments like these have become all the more important in light of recent events. Up until September of 2011, Dylan was a normal, healthy nine-year-old boy. And then one day, everything changed. I heard a thump here in the living room and he was crawling down the stairs backwards and I tried to stand him up and he couldn't get up. His legs were that sore. So we took him to the doctor and we actually took him over to outpatients. And it was a five hour wait, so we took him to a walk-in clinic and the doctor sent us back over to the hospital for an x-ray and Dr. Bethune met us over there and done the x-ray and then they admitted Dylan and in the next couple of days he was sent to Halifax. Initially, doctors thought Dylan had a bone infection, but further testing revealed a far more serious problem. Dylan had leukemia. He was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. The news was devastating to the Bingleys. I was in shock. Um, it's still hard to believe, but I know I got to deal with it. Um, we will get through it, but yeah, it was. A, it was heartbreaking. You don't remember that one, but yeah, bear was bigger than you. Totally in shock. I mean, it was believing that it was a, a bone infection, 95% uh, positive, and in the very far back of your mind, you're you kind of thinking cancer, but you're going, it can't be. And then when you get the news, I mean, it's just, you know, you, you want to cry, like you just, your emotions just take the better of you, and it's just, we had a lot of rough days at the beginning until they reassured us that, you know, it is curable and uh, just has to do a lot of treatments, and, but it was quite a shock. Dylan still has to go to the IWK to receive a lot of his chemotherapy. But thanks to the Cancer Treatment Center at the QEH, he can stay on PEI for some of his treatment. At the QEH, um, I was quite surprised. Um, uh, they had informed us at the IWK that the uh, cancer unit here in pediatrics and that, they were exceptional, uh, Charlie and Holly. And you don't know until you actually get to meet them in that and spend some time. Like we've had quite a bit of time there now. And I can't say enough about them. They're just unbelievable the way they treat not only Dylan, but all the children there. And uh, Dr. Buffoon, Dr. Morrison, and you know, basically every doctor that's seen them, it's just been nothing but positive. Holly and Charlie are magnificent. Dr. Morrison, Dr. Bethune, Dr. Zellman, and Dr. Newman. They're the best. They're family. They've taken him under his wing, and they're great with him. They're just like their own. Bruce has to give the other one $29. Dylan still has to receive okay. three more years of chemotherapy. He is looking forward to the day when he can go back to doing the things every 10-year-old boy does. I'm biking and hitting more jumps. I think the, um, I, when I, before I had this all, I hit a big ramp and I fell the bike right on top of me. Um, I like to play games. That quarter is online. I like to play on the computer, I like to play on the PS3, I like to play, I mean, I, wa I like to watch TV sometimes, and sometimes if I'm allowed, I like to have sleepovers. It's hard for the Bingleys to put into words what the care and compassion of the staff at the QEH has meant to them. I'd like to thank the QEH, the nurses and the doctors, everybody on the pediatric unit, they're fantastic. And I mean, even the rest of the nurses are all great. They know Dylan by name. They know what's going on when he comes in. Yeah, they're great. Erase that one. Everybody had to start somewhere. That's right, everybody had to have a lot.